Hello, this is a continuation of our setup and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up everything together so that we can have InfluxDB, our database, added to Grafana and also our Telegraph added and also pointing to our InfluxDB. As you already know, we have Telegraph, which is our data collector that would send the data to InfluxDB. Then InfluxDB would hold and process that data so that when Grafana comes in, Grafana will just query that data using REST API and we'll be able to visualize it and create alerts. Without wasting time, let's go ahead and add our Influx database to Grafana so that we can have that connection. In the previous video, we installed our database InfluxDB, but that installation was not complete. Let's just make sure that the service is running by running system control status InfluxDB. As you can see, it's running, but we don't have a database and we don't have a, any real users. So to do that, let's go ahead and create our first user. To create our first user, we just need to type Influx to go in the user creation mode. So I'm going to do create user El Maconem with password Udemy with all privileges and just hit enter. So my user is being created. To verify, I can just do a show users and hit enter as you can see is admin is true. So that we need to configure our database and to do that we need to just Use VI to open Etsy InfluxDB, InfluxDB.conf. And in here, we need to find our HTTP section. As you can see here, we, we just want to uncomment a few fields. And auth enabled. We want that to be true. So that's one more change you need to make to Influx TB. Next, we're going to make some changes to Telegraph so that Telegraph can go ahead and work with uh, InfluxDB. As you know, Telegraph is an open source agent that collects metrics and data on the system is, is running on or other services. Then it writes the data to InfluxDB. So that's what we're configuring next.